Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to take a look at the VFI2 by AFL and Noise. It includes a nice pouch here and you also have a little loop on the back so you can go ahead and put it around the belt and keep it handy. Uh, what else is included? There's a little user, user guide. You want to maybe go ahead and keep this in the pouch also. And there's also a card where you can warranty your product. Uh, register your product for a warranty from the manufacturer. You know, it helps simplify warranty tracking, confirmation of ownership, that sort of thing. And also helps you, you know, if, if there's ever an issue, it just makes the process a lot easier in the long term. So uh, let's go ahead and crack this open. Now, this visual fault finder, uh, basically it's a visible red laser and it's designed to inject light energy into your fiber. Sharp bends, breaks, faulty connectors, and other faults will leak. Red light generated by a VFI, allowing technicians to visually spot the defect. So that's one of the most common, uh, probably the most common uh, uses of this particular tool, but I know with some of the fiber connectors out in the field, like the AFL Fast Connector, there's also, um, you might want to also use this for you new guys. If you just get started terminating those connectors, there's uh, a couple of windows on the bottom of the connector that will help, you know, get you uh, started on the right foot, on the right path there when you go to termination. So, the it does include a nice rugged protective boot. Now, it does have a universal connector interface for a quick connection. We'll go ahead and take off the top there. And the this particular unit that's, let me go ahead and unscrew that for you, but this is the 2.5 size, which is most common with ST and SC connectors. It's actually, that's the size of those connectors. So you want to unscrew it and remove it. Now there is an additional piece that's sold for just the LC connectors because the LC connector is a little bit smaller. So when you do need to use an LC connector, you want to go ahead and just remove it and put the proper one on. Now let's go ahead and turn this unit on. You want to go ahead and press the on off button for about two seconds. One, two. The light turns green and right now it is currently in the CW mode. The CW mode, the red light will be off. And that's a continuous light stream. And then to go ahead and set it up in the other mode, you would go ahead and just press the other button. It turns red. Now it's blinking. The one other thing I do want to mention, one of the most common questions I get asked is, how far can this light source go? I mean, you got a pretty long cable run, and what is the distance? I mean, what's the deal there? Uh, it will go the light source will travel down fiber three miles. So that should, if you got you know, questions about that, there's your answer. And that's pretty much it. If you want a more detailed uh, spec sheet on this item, and if you want pricing and you want to order online, visit discountlowvoltage.com.